Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endured forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endured forever. Dearly beloved, happy Resurrection Day. This is a glorious day to, to, to greet you and to spend some time with you in the Word of God. Today, we'll be teaching on the subject, who will be healed today? In the midst of what's happening in our country, people's hearts are failing them. People are worried about different things concerning this virus. But today I have good news, and, and, and it's a form of a, of a question. Who will be healed today, sir or ma'am? Would you be healed today? Follow me with this lesson today, and God will certainly heal you today. My text for today's lesson is taken from the book of Jeremiah, uh, chapter, let's see, Jeremiah chapter 32 and verse 20, verse 26. And reads as follows. Then came the word of the Lord to Jeremiah, saying, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of, of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? God is asking the question, Is there anything too hard for me? My dear friends, nothing is too hard for your God and for my God. My God, he is an awesome God. He's a God of miracles, signs, and wonders. He will heal you today. If there is a, a need today in our country, it's the need of, for divine healing, healing against this virus that is running rampant. Oh, but I thank the Lord that we have hope. Look what the Lord of God has to say about who will receive divine healing. Uh, turn with me, please, to the book of Matthew, chapter 4 and verse... 23. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 23. And it reads as follows. Then Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogue, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sicknesses, and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all, all Syria. And they brought unto him people that were taken with diverse diseases, and torments, those that were possessed with devils, those that were lunatics, and those that uh, had the palsy, and he healed them. Note, my dear beloved, everyone that came to Jesus was healed that day. They came with expectation, they came with anticipation, and because they came expecting to be healed, they were, they were healed. Uh, but what I wanted you to, to see here, that there was a, a list of various types of diseases, all kinds of torments, but none of it was too hard for, for the Lord. My dear friends, nothing is too hard for God to do. God is able to heal our land of this disease, or this, vir this virus is running rampant in our midst. In another scripture along the same line, uh, I'd like to, to, to point out uh, that Jesus heals all, and it will heal you today. If you turn with me to, to Matthew chapter 8 and verse 14. And you'll notice Jesus, after visiting the, the home of Peter, his mother-in-law, was, was, she was sick. But look what happened. Matthew chapter 8 and verse 14. And when Jesus came into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother laid and sick of the palsy, sick with a fever. Think about that for a moment. She was sick with a fever. One of the, the symptoms of this virus is running rampant is a fever. And Jesus, he is the healer of a fever. So if you are, if you have difficulty with fever today, the house, and he will heal you of fever today. So let me continue to read here again, Matthew chapter 8 and verse 14. And when Jesus was come into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother laid sick of the palsy, sick of, of the fever, I'm sorry. And he touched her hand, and the fever left her. Isn't that something? The fever was not too hard for the Lord to, to handle. He touched her, just a, just a touch from the Lord. Just a touch from the Lord 
and the fever left. What great power. What great power. But let's continue on here. Verse 16. And when the even was come, they brought unto, unto him many that were possessed with devils. And he cast out the spirit with his word. And he healed all that were sick. All that were sick were healed. My, son, my, my, my dear friend, my dear brother, my dear sister, would you accept your healing today? Would you receive your healing today? I came here with good news on this Easter Sunday. Jesus is the healer. He paid the price for our healing. And thank God, he will heal you today. He will meet your need today. He will work it out today. He will bless you today. And so let's go continue on to look at these scriptures, the scriptures about healing. Who will be healed today? Another scripture to look at is in Matthew chapter 9. Looking, let's go down to, um, to verse 27 of Matthew 9 and verse 27. This is a beautiful scripture as well that has a lot to say about divine healing. So here in verse 27. And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him. And, and, and Jesus said unto them, Believe me, believe ye that I'm able to do this? And they said, Yeah, Lord, we believe. Then touch ye their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. My dear friend, look at this again. Look, look at verse 30. And their eyes were open, and Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that you tell no man. But look what happened. Who would be healed today? These two blind men, this particular set of scripture intrigues me, that the, the blind was following Jesus, and those that had good eyes, who could see, were not. Isn't that something? But they followed Jesus. So who would be healed today? Those who will follow Jesus. Those who will believe that Jesus can do it. My friend, Jesus can heal you today, and he wants to heal you today, and, and, and he will heal you today. He, he, will, he will do the miracle that you're expecting he will do it today for you. So, so don't give up and don't quit. Now, moving forward, same chapter, verse 35. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in the synagogue and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. So every disease, no matter what it was, it was Jesus have the power, he had the power, he had anointing to heal every sickness and every disease among the people. So here, everyone that came received their healing. Everyone that wanted to receive their healing. Now, look at another scripture. Along the same, the, the, the scripture is, is, is replete with, with, um, with the, the, the healing power in demonstration in Jesus' life. No one that came to him were turned away. No, they were not turned away. They were healed by Jesus. So look at here, this other scripture, uh, Matthew chapter 15, uh, no, Matthew chapter 14 and, and verse 34. Matthew chapter 14 and verse 34. Here is another great example of Jesus healing the sick. Nothing is too hard for him to do. The, the, the quantity of people that were sick did not make Jesus, Jesus nervous. Jesus is not nervous about mass, ca mass casualty. No, the, the number of people never, never made Jesus nervous at all. So we're looking at here at Matthew chapter 14 and verse, Matthew 14 and verse 34. And look what it says here in this chapter. They came into the land of the Gennesaret. And when the men of that, sea, of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all the country round about and, and, and brought unto him all that were diseased and besought that they might only touch the hem of his garment. 
and as many as touched were made perfectly whole. Isn't this amazing? Who wants to be healed? Those who want to touch, who just want to touch Jesus. Of many diseases, the disease or whatever the ailment was, didn't make Jesus nervous at all. Jesus, he is anointed, he's empowered to heal the sick. And, uh, and so they brought these different people with different diseases and, and torments. But what happened? He healed them all. So here's another scripture along the same line in chapter 15 of Matthew and, and verse 29. You will notice uh, what great power Jesus has demonstrated here. So Matthew chapter um, 15 and verse 29. And so, and Jesus departed from thence and came nigh unto the Sea of Galilee and went up into a mountain and sat down there. And the great multitudes came unto him, having with them those that were lame, those that were blind, those that were dumb, those that were maimed, who were missing a, 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 a hand or a foot or something, those that were maimed, and many others, and cast them down at Jesus' feet. And you know what he did? And he healed every one of them. They, they brought all kinds of people, large multi multitude, he mentioned here multitude. A multitude is, is synonymous with about 5,000 people. So can you imagine one man healing 5,000 people at one time? Oh, but nothing is too hard for the Lord. I know there's a lot of casualties uh, 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 that, has, uh, that has been generated with this virus. A lot of people are, are, are in the hospital, recovering. Some are very serious. Men have lost their lives by the thousands. Oh, but let me tell you something. We're going to put the brakes on today. We're going to put the brakes on today and, and turn to our, our Lord. And just as how they brought the multitude, multitudes are being brought to the hospitals, to the various places of, 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 of treatment. And, and the, the, labor, the, 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 the staff are, they, they're overwhelmed, they're overworked, and they get tired. But Jesus never got tired. And, and so great multitudes came unto him. And, and, and so, so having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, him, and, and, and and that what happened, and so much that the multitude wondered. When they saw the dumb to speak, the lame to behold, the maimed to walk, the blind to see, they glorify God. They glorify God. So everyone that came to Jesus was healed. So who can be healed today, sir or ma'am? You can be healed today. In this very hour, this very moment, as I, as I end of today's lesson, I want you to lay your hands on your telephone. Lay your hands on the, on the computer. Whatever means by which you listen to this, me this message, lay your hands there. Let's have a prayer, uh, let's have a, a, a prayer that will heal you. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. You see the faith of this person laying their hands on the, on the telephone, laying their hands on the computer, expecting to be healed. And Father, by the stripes of Jesus Christ, be healed. Be healed in Jesus' name. I'd like to thank you today for listening to this broadcast. We have more to come, so I ask you to tune in next time, and I enjoy teaching this lesson with you. So as I close today's lesson, I just want to encourage you to say, have faith in God. God bless you. I'm Pastor Stephen Prescott of Church of the Firstborn. And I'm Pastor Carolyn Prescott from Church of the Firstborn in the city of Shirts. We want to thank you today for joining us for our Amen. And we also want to encourage you to uh, follow us on our webpage, cofbsa.org. Yes. And also, we'd like to encourage you to send an offering, and you can do that online. And we want to, uh, if you have any prayer requests, uh, let us know, and we'll be happy to pray and agree with you. Amen. <laughs>